Hey guys, welcome back to Yasmar Productions. Today we are out and about just outside of Beatty, Nevada, taking a dirt trail that's kind of leading us nowhere. Not exactly sure where this is going to go. According to the map, we're thinking um, this is going to land us in Rhyolite, which would kind of be neat. I uh, haven't seen a ghost town here in a couple of weeks and from what we hear this one's got a lot of still standing structures and some really cool stuff to see so we're going to take you along for the ride. Let's see if there's anything on the trail worth looking at and go see if we can find this uh, so called ghost town here so buckle up enjoy let's go see what we can see shall we. <laughs> So not far into the trail, we did run into a herd of burrow. It seems kind of cold outside for them, or at least from where we normally bump into them. Well, that's kind of cool. They look like they're sleeping. All that one. Either look. that, or they're just watching us. Well, they're all looking that way. I wonder what's going on up over that ridge then. I don't know. Let's go see what we can see. So as we came up over the bend, it looks like we may have found what we were looking for. So the road's a little rough, but easily done in two-wheel drive. Just a little bouncy. So we're gonna go check out some of these structures, which from here look huge. So there might actually be some pretty cool stuff to check out. So thanks for sticking through. Let's go and see what we can see. town of Rhyolite. Um, it is definitely kind of neat down here. Uh, the biggest attraction is going to be the building that's behind me here. This is the Rhyolite Casino, but apparently due to people abusing the privilege over the years, it had to fence it off, unfortunately, but we'll get some video clips. We'll show you what we can see. I wonder what life was actually like back here when this casino was actually bustling, gold was coming out of the mountains, and horse and buggies were running through here. That would definitely be interesting. Seeing a blast from the past, especially in the Old West, is definitely worth every time you take an adventure. If you haven't, get out. Go take a look. See what's up in these mountains. See what's out in the desert. You never know what you're going to find. And sometimes, it just makes it so worth it when you head back to the city. So what do you think? It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? It's pretty cool. Trying to imagine what it would be like if we owned it and we lived in that? <laughs> be lots of room. What are you guessing, like 10,000 square feet? 
maybe. We'll give Devin his own little room off to the side, build a garage for the Jeeps. There you go. This would be a cute little place. Sure would. Yeah. A lot of fixing up to do though. Yeah. All right, one thing that you do find a lot in the desert out here in the Nevada area is Joshua trees. But look at the size of this one. It just goes on and on and on. It's incredible. I haven't seen one this big yet. That's kind of neat. Must have just been like storage for could have been the vault for the jewelry. What you see behind me is why most of these structures were probably blocked off. It's kind of a shame. Of all the structures that are down here in this little quaint town, this one still seems relatively complete with windows and clean trim. It's interesting because it kind of makes us wonder if this is a newer building than the rest of the buildings that are here. Hmm. It might be near the end of November, but with that sun beating down on us, oh, it's starting to get warm. I guess that's desert life for you. How are you doing? <laughs> Taking a selfie video. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. You ever taken a selfie video? No. No? And we're doing it in a ghost town. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Just like every adventure we take to these abandoned towns, we found another mine shaft. <clears throat> Check this out. Looks fairly well 
new. But this one is definitely blocked off. All right. Not on this trip. Maybe the next one. Seriously, what is that? So then they rode bikes to get out? Hmm, interesting. Right. Well, there certainly was a whole lot to see here. If you get an opportunity, make sure you let yourself a couple of hours at least to walk around, read the signs, and enjoy the beautiful scenery of what was once a bustling town in the mountains up here outside of Beatty, Nevada. Once again, my name's Josh. You got Devin behind me, my wife Heather. We're all part of Yasmar Productions, and we will see you next time. All right, so let's go off of your theory that alien robots came down and destroyed this town. So why don't you explain to me why they didn't destroy the school? They didn't destroy the school. The alien robot didn't destroy the the school because the children are innocent and um they don't like adults oh interesting